Hi everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to Tailor Made Cards for You. Well, I'm here today to share with you my fall inspiration kit from European Paper Crafts. If you love fall and you love crafting in fall, you're going to love this kit. Now, the first thing I wanted to share with you is this cute little fox, and this is actually something new. When I first saw it, I wasn't really sure what it was. I just thought, wow, a big fox. But once I opened up the package, I saw that it was a cute little fox gift bag kit, and um, I ended up putting this together, and it was so adorable, so I'm excited to share this with you. It's going to be perfect for uh, any little kid. You can even probably use it for trick-or-treating for a little kid. Uh, may not be able to hold enough candy for a uh, older child, but it really is a cute little fox. And then the next thing I wanted to show you were these cute little um, toppers. And I actually got three, or four, I should say, four samplers on this. And I ended up putting together three projects using uh, the Halloween samplers. I got the black cat, and then I also got a uh, spider and then the last one was a witch. And these are uh, toppers where you can actually layer to create a 3D effect. And um, I created cute little pockets with these that I'll be sharing with you. Now also in my kit, I got some fall uh, bling rhinestones uh, for embellishments. And then I also got uh, the gold stickers that you can add to your cards. Now, I, um, in my kit, I also got some double-sided adhesive, and we always could use that. And then finally, um, in the larger package that I got um, was the Paper Mania Country Life Collection. And inside this uh, little packet here, I got some uh, linen papers, I got some die-cut sheets, I got some uh, sentiments, and then I also got some cards. Now, um, like I said, if you're a... F uh, lover of fall like many of us are and you love the fall colors this kit is perfect i know not everybody is a halloween fan and um there are some great colors and some great coordinating uh items to create some wonderful fall cards you've got some wonderful sentiments and then you've also got some beautiful paper now I'm going to have links below to all of the items that I'm sharing with you today. And if you want to get a jump start on your fall crafting, you're going to want to head over to European Paper Crafts um, before September 7th. Uh, because uh, the owner of European Paper Crafts is actually going to be traveling to Europe to pick up some more items. Um, and she won't be back until after October the 5th. So definitely check out the shop and get your order in sooner rather than later. So that way you can get some beautiful paper to start your fall crafting. Now, if you've never used European P and paper crafts before um, and you like to layer cards, these packets are wonderful because they come numbered and they show you exactly um, where your pieces go to create beautiful 3D cards. So let me go ahead and share with you some of the items that I made with my kit. So the first card that I created uh, with my kit was this cute little rooster card. And um, the layers that I used created a really fun hen house and then I just added the little roosters on the outside um, of the hen house. And then as you see, I went ahead and I layered the hen house right on top of that card that had the roosters. Very cute. I was really happy with the way that it turned out. And I ended up turning it into a little friend card. Now, the item that I'm showing you right now is that fox gift bag. Isn't it cute? It was so easy to put together. It was just a matter of adding some adhesive to the front um, panel and then turning it over and adding some adhesive to the back panel and it created this cute little gift bag. Probably not quite big enough for a uh, trick-or-treat bag but it definitely is a cute little gift bag that you can add maybe um, some tissue paper and a little gift. All right and then the last three items that I'm sharing with you here are these cute little pockets that I created and I added the uh, 3D elements. As you can see I have the cat, I have the witch, and I have the spider. Um, and it was really easy to make. I thought I would go ahead and give you a free principle over on my website for this little pocket. So that way when you order your 3D elements, you will have a little pocket to put these on as well. Okay, so once you download your file, you're going to want to fussy cut it. Um, or if you have a scan and cut, you can use your scan and cut. And then you're going to want to take your scoreboard and score both sides. As you can see, um, the score line goes right where that bottom flap uh, starts and then you're going to want to go ahead and fold over your sides 
um, and then use the bottom line as a guide to score the last bottom flap. Now because you're going to have three layers uh, to punch out, if you do have a circle punch, you're going to want to go ahead and punch out those half circles individually. Um, it was a little bit too hard to go through three pieces of cardstock, so just line it up and cut out all three individually. And then once you have your ovals cut out, then you can go ahead and add the adhesive to the sides and the bottom. All right, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and leave links to all the products that I used today uh, over at European Paper Craft, so that way you can check out some of the fall items that they have available in the shop. Um, and don't forget, if you do want to start your fall crafting in the month of September, you're going to want to grab your product soon uh, because sh uh, European Paper Crafts is going to be closed between September 7th and October the 5th. She's going to have more details over on her website, so be sure to check that out. Now, if you've enjoyed my video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to leave a link to my blog, um, real easy to find, tailormadecardsforyou.com, so that way you can download the principle for this cute little pocket. Alright, well I hope that you've enjoyed the projects that I've shared with you today, and we'll see you again next time.